everybody here, Nick from Budget Collector, picked up a couple of the Power Rangers. Uh, what is it? The 25 years of power. This is the Blue Ranger we're going to start with. Um, the Psycho Blue Ranger Leg Legacy Collection by Bandai. Um, I did want to get them. Wasn't the biggest fan of uh, Power Rangers growing up, but I did watch it a little bit. So let's get this opened up. So one of the things is, you know, being a budget collector, we got to get things on a budget. Seeing as the boxes were damaged, I was able to get them for about five bucks a piece, and I think that's worth it. I got them on the secondary market. And um, I'm going to take them out of the package anyhow and throw the package away. So either way, it doesn't matter for me. Let's start with his weapon is going to be first. So he's got a blue and white axe. Pretty simple, not a lot of detail. All right, now the Blue Ranger. Let's take a look. So, here it is, out of the box. We'll start with the head, of course. You can twist it. Now let's see if there's swivel. Front and back, not much back. So for flying poses or anything like that, it's not going to look great, but it's okay. It's a Power Ranger. Now let's check the arm. Out. Elbow in, double jointed. Wrist. I swivel. And tilt. He only comes with one set of hands. So we can't check anything else with that. Torso. Front and back. Waist, side to side. Very simple. Legs. Can almost kick himself in his butt. Because of a double jointed knee. He got a decent range of motion. Let's check the ankle, back and forth, and side to side. The same is going to be with the other leg. Let's take a look at it with it, with him carrying his weapon in his hand go. Let's see how it stands up by itself without having any stand or anything. I'm not sure how I'm going to display them yet. I might wait until I can get some kind of villain from it or whatnot. But either way, it'll be out of box. There you go. It does stand pretty easily. Happy with that. So what do you guys think of the Blue Ranger? This is the Psycho Blue Ranger. Definitely tell me your thoughts below. All right, going to the Psycho Red Ranger. We'll see. I'm assuming it's going to be the same exact setup, but I'm not sure. Let's hope that his weapon looks a little better because I wasn't thrilled with the Blue Ranger's weapon. This one here, we're going to start with the weapon first. Or I'm going to juggle the weapon and throw it on the ground. Here we go. Red Ranger's coming with a single sword. Um. Very basic. Now let's take a look at the Red Ranger himself. <clears throat> okay. Articulation looks like it's going to be exactly the same, but you never know. I could be wrong. Head, same. Swivel, elbow, double jointed, 
um, wrist. So it, it, it is about the same, probably the same exact mold. Um, yeah, across the board exactly the same. Let's see how it looks with the weapon in its hand. And let's see if it stands up. The next one is the one that I was actually really wanting, uh, the White Ranger. But the price I got these, you have to take the whole set, definitely. Once again, stands fine. Did not need a stand. All right. So the White Ranger. This one, the box is very badly damaged. As you see. But, like I said, I got it for a great price due to that. And when you're the budget collector, you know you got to take any kind of deal you can. This one. Oh boy, comes with a lot compared to the other ones. It's one of those jokes, are you stronger than a piece of plastic? Yes, I am not. All right. So, let's start with its weapon. The White Ranger's weapon definitely looks a lot better. More detailed. Um, it is the one I noticed when we were walking through the store, personally. I was thinking about getting just this one originally. Um, this must be a sheath for it. And I'll find out where it goes on him. Okay. So there's a little hole on the side of him right there. I don't know if you can see it, but if you can, that is where his weapon goes. So this one's already more detailed than the rest. It has a, a weapon with some detail. It has a sheath. Alright, let's see if the rest of him is the same. Alright, head. Side to side. Not quite as much movement side to side as the others due to this collar right here. Front. Back. A little less um, articulation there, but definitely looks a lot better. Double jointed elbow. wrist and it swivels chest swivel does get lost some of the art you do lose some of the arcade uh, articulation with this one compared to the others due to his shoulder pads little swivel at the hip uh, waist little swivel at the hips um, it is pretty neat the way that that pattern goes all the way down the side of him. Double jointed knee. So practically kick his own butt. And same thing again. Good. Good looking figure. I actually do like this one. This one I'm very happy about. I probably would have been willing to pay full price for this. Um, like I said, I wasn't the biggest Power Rangers fan like some people are. But I did like it. Let's see how he looks with his knife on his side. Unlike all the other ones where you have to <clears throat> be carrying it. Alright. Let's see if he stands up. go.
and this one came with a giant leg. I did not know that there was a Build-A-Figure with this set. Let's check the back. Yeah. Even on the back, it does not talk about... That is the back of the box. Um, like I said, it does not even talk about this big leg. So I will have to do a little research and see how to get the rest of the pieces or what this went to. Um, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the Power Rangers, but I did like the White uh, Ranger a lot. Just way more details than, detail than the rest of the Rangers in this series. Um, you know, all together, I would say, I don't think I would pay full price for the blue one or for the red one. But, I would definitely feel comfortable paying for that white one. Sorry about my phone going off. Okay, to wrap this up, I would say the White Power Ranger is definitely the best looking in this set. It comes with the best looking weapon, plus the extra part that we'll have to figure out what it goes to. Um, there's only minor uh, paint application mess ups. Um, I would definitely say probably seven to a 7.2 with the White Ranger. Um, by far, I'm happy with that figure. I would have paid full price for that one. The blue one, um, I would not pay full price. I would say about half off and I would feel comfortable. Um, that, I like its weapon compared to the red. Still, it is, still it is very bland and I don't know. It's just something about it. It just doesn't really catch me. But like I said, I'm not a Power Ranger fan. The Red Ranger, if I didn't get it for five bucks, I wouldn't have bought it. Um, so like I said, seven and a half, six, maybe four and a half, five. Um, we will do a little better research and find out what that goes to, or how to get the rest of it, I should say. Um, Thank you very much. Make sure you smash that subscribe. Send me some comments. Like it. Send me a message. Whatever you think. If you want me to go look at something else, um, I'm definitely looking at getting the Halloween NECA still. I have uh, the Ninja Turtles coming the 6th uh, by NECA. Those look great. Can't wait to open those for you guys. Um, thank you again. Budget Collector. Have a great night. Peace out. Maybe a 5.0.